everybody. Welcome back to daytime. Fina Scaropo is here. She is the author of The Healthy Italian Cookbook. And today we are using, well, we're making pasta. We're making pasta because everybody loves pasta. But we're making pasta that won't make my panza so busy. Ooh, you're good. I'm half Italian. You're good. <laughs> I'm actually not. I'm half Irish. Uh, okay. What so, are we making today? So what we're doing is we're preparing some heart healthy meals, right? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, of course, everybody's thinking about good for you ingredients. Everybody's mm -hmm. thinking about the heart and getting it sort of, February you know, is National February Heart Month. February Heart Month, right? And for Valentine's Day, some great meals for sweethearts, right? Yeah. We want to make them delicious because, of course, that's the first thing that we want to think about when we're preparing meals. But we want to make them for Valentine's Day. Well, um, Fina, walk me through this, okay? okay? Because I am clueless in the kitchen. Scale of 1 to 10, 10 being lots of knowledge, 1 being no knowledge, I'm a negative 32. But I want to impress my ladies lady. Uh, this is perfect then. Okay. This so. is perfect because all the ingredients here you can shop at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. They're made literally in 30 minutes. Um, Good. Both the codfish, we have a, a walnut crusted codfish with raisins and olives. Yeah. We have uh, fettuccine with pesto al trapanese. Mm. And then of course we have to finish our dish, oh. dish with chocolate. Bravo, I mean it's bravo. a must. It's a must, right? But this is a healthy chocolate cake. I'm going to get into it in a second because okay. we want to talk about the, the pasta. Start food. here. So really, really easy. We're making a pesto. We've got the pasta um, cooking yep. or already cooked. And we're going to make a pesto. Al dente? Al dente, of course. It's got to be al dente because of course we don't want our blood sugar to spike with unhealthy carbs and we can make even healthy carbs unhealthy when we overcook it. Okay. So what we've done is is we've um, uh, steamed these a little bit just mm -hmm. so that the skin Those breaks a little tomatoes. bit. Cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. Yep. And I've also toasted a bit of uh, slivered almonds. We're going to okay. put them all into the blender here. So uh, we've got... So we use tomato in, uh, in this sauce. That's interesting. Yeah. So what this is, is this is actually a basil pesto. Uh, that's been um, changed a little bit because what happened that's is that... Oh, can we fit that all in there? Oh, yeah, we can yeah? fit okay, it, yeah. Okay, okay. And then we're going to have a little bit of arugula yeah. salad. Yeah, let me just taste that. Just make sure, sure that's go arugula. for it. We've got some... So nutty. Isn't it? So good. Yummy. We've got some basil because mm -hmm. it's a basil-based uh, pesto. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some slivered almonds. Go ahead. We've got some cheese here. Mm -hmm. Parmigiano. Parmigiano. Okay. Parmigiano. Or pecorino is always, always nice in the pesto as well. Okay. And of course, we have to have some olive oil yeah. and some garlic. And so what we're doing here is we're creating a basil. How much garlic are we putting? Because we can overkill with garlic. Yeah, two cloves is just enough here. So okay. we're going we're gonna to press this all in our food processor. We're going to make a wonderful pesto. As I said, what we've got here is <laughs> if we can I just get it to go. way over here. You do your thing. Okay, here we go. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Look how easy that is. That's pretty impressive. That's our sauce. That's our sauce. Believe it or not, that's our sauce. Okay. So what we've done is we've used basil pesto as a base, and we're yeah. adding some zesty ingredients and some good for you ingredients, things like tomatoes with lycopene, great for our hearts. We've got some antioxidants in the arugula, this is in amazing. the garlic. Do you know what's good so about easy. this? So easy. Is that sometimes when I'm making the pasta at home, I'm thinking I don't want to go buy store bought pasta. No. My no no's uh, sauce is all gone. What do I make? It's a great pesto. So what we've got here is, of course, we've got the fettuccine. Go ahead. That have cooked. Yeah, yeah. And so what we do is we drain. Do you throw the it at a wall to make sure it's it's <laughs> it's ready. You know what? Just a little taste. We just pick it up here. Yep. And we have a little taste. Ready? Uh huh. Go for it. Ah, ah, here we go. Ah. Al dente. Oops. Okay. So we're gonna strain that, Sorry. and we're gonna toss it with <laughs> yeah. the pesto, and then mm. we're gonna layer it a little bit more pesto. Okay. So here it is, all plated and ready to go for you. That's beautiful. So okay. this is our finished product. That's I'm going to put it right here That's for it. Mr. Koo. That's Coop. how easy it is. Right there. This pesto actually originated um, in Sicily. And what happened is the Genovese in the north mm -hmm. uh, brought down the basil pesto. They were uh, coming into the seaport. The Sicilians love the pesto, but mm -hmm. of course they wanted to add their own little thing to it, right? Mm -hmm. So almonds is uh, something that comes from the Mediterranean. They wanted to add a bit more zest with um, a little bit more uh, basil and garlic and of course the tomatoes. You can find this recipe in the cookbook. You can. Available where? It's available at Chapters, Indigo, and some Costco locations. Amazon.ca, Costco, or Chapters.ca. What are we doing next? Uh, we're going to talk cake, and yep. we're talking about this wonderful codfish. Great. More daytime after break. Don't go anywhere. The book is The Healthy Italian, and we're looking at a chocolate cake that you can find inside of the book. With us now is the author, Fina Scaropo, who is my new Italian friend. Uh, recap for people who are tuning in now. We made a healthy pasta. We made a fettuccine with pesto trapanese. 
and um, we've got a cod, walnut crusted codfish mm -hmm. with raisins and olives, mm -hmm. and we've got a wonderful chocolate pear tort. Okay. Lots of great ingredients. Can I start in here with this particular pasta? Absolutely. So, of course, fettuccine is a great pasta for this pesto, but it doesn't limit you to using other pasta types. Right. So, the one that I love is a spelt based pasta, okay. and you can use it using uh, penne shapes, any shapes really. Yeah. The spelt pasta, pasta is wonderful because it seems to be lighter on the digestive system, mm -hmm. and it's great tasting and it's good for you and it's using whole grains so that's why I like to use use different pastas I and mean, there's lots of uh, variety on yeah. the uh, on the grocery shelves. Faro is very popular now. there's actually a restaurant I know that only makes Faro pasta. I did hear of that one yeah. yes. Okay moving on. Moving on okay so we've got a walnut crusted codfish so what we've done is we've created a crust with a bit of breadcrumbs and some walnuts and we are basically layering it on top as we're baking the fish with some great ingredients like raisins and olives, that sort of salt yep. and sweet. And the great thing about this dish is not only does it taste fantastic, of course, um, it also is very heart healthy. It has a lot of omega-3 fatty yep. acids. And the wonderful thing about omega-3 fatty acids is in this dish in particular, some come from meat sources and sort rather fish sources, some come from plant sources like nuts. And you've got a mix of all of them. So you've got all the goodness of the omegas. And and they're great, they're heart healthy. Do you know what I think the thing is when it comes to fish? Tell is me. the people don't make fish at home because it's one of those things that you can either just totally screw up. Can't with this one. No? Can't with this one. You're basically just putting it in an, uh, an oven pan. Uh, you're roasting it for 15, 20 minutes. You're putting a crumble on top. You're seasoning it very lightly. Yeah. You toss some arugula salad or some green salad and you serve it and it's wonderful. All right, so we got the pasta, we okay. got the fish. We're all the digested up. I have an appetit. I'm ready to go. <laughs> What's next? This chocolate pear tort is one of my favorites mm -hmm. for lots of different reasons. Okay, it's so flavorful, let's start with the moist, healthy. Delicious. Yeah. You got it all. There. Sorry, I Here. just. I'm gonna I, just walk. No, off no, now. you come back. Uh, I could just okay. look at it and tell. <laughs> so, it's heart healthy, and mm -hmm. I'll tell you why. It's got dark chocolate in it. Flavonoids, great for the heart. It's got oat bran in it. So what what, what oat bran does, of course, is it helps us with our cholesterol levels. It lowers oh, our bad okay. cholesterol levels. And what I've done here, of course, is we do add a tiny little bit of oil, but I've replaced most of the oil or the fat that's added in cake with pumpkin puree. See, I've heard of this, or avocado or something along that, that line. Have you heard of some, that before? Absolutely, some creaminess squash. in it, some squash creaminess in it, but it adds some goodness to it, it adds moisture to it, and then it's topped with some roasted almonds, some slivered almonds, as well as some pear that's seasoned with ginger and cinnamon and orange juice. Mm. So you've got all those flavors going. Of course, you can pair it with strawberries, you can drizzle some chocolate, as I love to do, because, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we can never have enough of chocolate. And, um, and uh, it is almost Valentine's Day, and chocolate is an aphrodisiac. Just saying. I think you're right. <laughs> I, I've done my research before coming on the show. Uh, I'm going to ask you a personal question. Please How did do. you find your way into the kitchen? What, what was it that led to your love of food? Oh, I'm passionate about food. My whole family's passionate about food. I've been cooking since I was a little girl. And uh, my whole family gets in the kitchen. My father, my brother, my yeah. mom, my sister. Who's the best cook and, in the family? Oh, mm, I shouldn't say. <laughs> um, uh, we're all great cooks. Yeah. And so, of course, I have just loved doing it. And so I thought I wanted to share it with the world. And I wanted to make it in a healthful, sort of approachable way. I've leaned on Italian my whole entire life. Italian's and the best. Well, uh, it's easy, natural it's, ingredients done right. Absolutely. At its, at its roots, uh, Italian cuisine is actually very healthy. Lots of Mediterranean mm -hmm. ingredients. We've got, you know, things like nuts and legumes, um, fiber in uh, our greens that we use, all those kinds of things that make for a wonderful and healthy cuisine. People get the book. What do they find? They'll find 150 recipes um, like Nona used to make. Mm -hmm. uh, no compromise on taste and healthy for you. All the flavor, no compromise and taste, and darn it, easy to follow recipes. The website is thehealthyitalian.ca. Did I say that right? Yeah? You did. Okay, make sure I sometimes can't read well. All right, more daytime for the break, guys. Don't go anywhere. Come on. Guys, welcome back to daytime. Uh, you know, we, we've, we've cooked, we've made everything. I've been eating your cake, which is a credit to you because frankly, I don't eat anyone's cake. I don't like cake. 
Oh, that's a big bonus. Delicious. I'm glad. Delicious, glad delicious. Uh, people want your book. Where do they go? They're going to go to Chapters, Indigo Stores, uh, some Costco locations, Amazon.ca and ChaptersS.ca. It's that simple. It's not simple. Do you know where people go for more information on all of today's guests? Yes. Um, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> you better fill that one in. They go to <laughs> RogersTV.com, click on Daytime, and you will find not only today's guests, but the guests from yesterday, the days from before, and who's coming up next. Wonderful. Okay, I'm that's gonna it. Be, I'm going to be checking it out. We're playing our hip-hop mix, so that's the end of the show, okay? Wonderful. All right, guys, we'll see you Monday. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs>